Ricardo Lervi is with us, healthcare analyst at Capital Network. Don't forget to see Ricardo's full report. Click the I in the corner of the screen. Uh, Ricardo, thanks very much for joining us. Can you introduce the wide cells business in terms of how it's different from other stem cell organizations? Yes, absolutely. So White Cells was originally set up in Portugal in 2012 as a provider of cell, uh, stem cell storage services for the local market. In 2016, the company raised about 1.7 million pounds on the London Stock Exchange in order to establish a new center in Manchester and to support their international expansion. But unlike many of the competitors, White Cells offers comprehensive services across stem cell storage, research, insurance, and education. So their business is actually built around three divisions. The first one, also called White Cells, deals with the storage of umbilical cord blood and the related contract research services. The second one, Cell Plan, is actually an innovative medical insurance policy that covers the potential future costs of stem cell-based treatment. And the third one is White Academy, an educational platform for medical personnel and other parties such families that may store stem cells and insurance professionals. So that's the business and how it's built then. What about the addressable markets? The global stem cell market is expected to be worth uh, around $170 billion in 2020. Within that, the cord blood banking market is growing at high single-digit rates and is forecast to be worth about $3.6 billion. Current storage fees at private cord blood banks average at around £2,000 a year, paid up front for a 20- to 30-year storage period. It is interesting to note that today less than 1% of cord blood becoming available every year is stored in a bank on a global basis. In Western countries, this rate is thought to be around 10%. Tell us then about the revenue streams. How does White Cells make money? Absolutely. Let's look at this uh, across White Cells three divisions. So the storage business revenue stream is driven by families paying an upfront of about £2,000 for having a cord blood unit stored. And this is going to be supplemented by contract research services that may generate an extra few hundred thousand pounds a year of income. The cell plan insurance policies will be sold at about 170 pounds per year, out of which net revenues to white sales will be approximately 50 pounds per policy. And finally, the uh, educational platform White Academy will generate revenue through several channels including direct subscription by medical personnel at about £120 a year, modules for accreditation of continuing education and white label licensing of the platform for fees amounting to a few hundred thousand pounds a year. So looking ahead then to 2018 and possibly beyond, what's in store for the next year? So over the upcoming months, we expect white cells to update the market on several fronts. First, the launch trajectory of their services across the three operating divisions for storage, research, insurance and education. Potential announcements of further partnerships to increase their access in key markets and the potential capital raise to support the ongoing international expansion. Ricardo Lovey, healthcare analyst at Capital Network, thanks very much for joining us. Don't forget, if you want to see Ricardo's full report, click on the I in the corner of the screen.